Greetings dear loved ones and welcome to Kind Holistics. Today I want to speak about soul power. I'll see you after these messages. back to Karnak Holistic TV. My name's Matt and we're here to learn together and to grow together in the sight of God. So today I want to speak about soul power. So it's a beautiful day today. It's 30 degrees. Actually it's 34 degrees outside. If you can hear like a blowing sound that's my fan that's going to keep me cool and I've just really just stressed and, and I apologize about the attire but you know it is what it is. See me as you see me. So anyway Today I want to speak about soul power. So not soul power is in the music, soul power change brand. I mean soul power, the spirit. Now for the last couple um, years, actually for the last year or so, um, I've been going through this transformation of myself and consciousness. And while I've been shifting and really developing myself, I could see. Um, my reality coming into um, my consciousness and when I say about my reality the reality that I want for me not the reality that I'm living so for a lot of time for a a long time I've been coasting if you want to call it um, developing myself um, getting closer to the um, living source and really understand what it is to really be um, in my own skin and within my own um, existence. So everything I speak about, some people obviously may not agree, some people will, some people can take from it, some people may not. Uh, again, Karnak is about, Karnak is obviously, Karnak is built on the idea of the temple in Egypt as you told by the pictures behind me. So the reality is it's about your own or my own as well, um, understanding or my own realization. So whatever I'm going through and whatever I'm feeling is what I'm sharing with you. So if obviously, if you can identify with the same um, development or changes and it can even help one of you or a large part of you, that's really good. I'm not here to change anything, to make bold claims, and um, I'm not here to say um, I'm here to lead anything. I'm here to just put down and document my own spiritual journey. Now, that's the reason why I'm talking about this and why I'm being quite open about it, and I'm speaking from a spiritual point of view, I'm speaking in a spiritual way and I'm talking about spirit, I'm talking about my own spiritual power and for years so many times um, I've allowed my spiritual power to be either misguided or misunderstood or me not really understanding what my own self of direction is on this planet. And in, and in that time, um, a lots of things have changed and lots of things have developed. And, and Karnak, for example, has grown. So has UK Ghost Explorers. And I've, I've become close to my fiance and a lot more things than my children and the kids around me and so on and so forth. So my, spu- my spiritual power within my, uh, my spiritual power and your spiritual power is your intention is your intention and within your intention you find what you really are because you would display your true characteristics how you react to a certain situation and with that um, intention comes reaction Um, then comes awareness 
And if you do an action along your spiritual path, this should lead to your realization. And once you have a realization about what you who and what you are and why you're here and so on and so forth, um, it makes your life a bit more um, easier to manage and really to develop. So within my own skin, I've learned to really embrace my darker side and my lighter side because they are a perfect, and having a perfect balance, and I've been learning to put them in perfect balance with each other. Now, when I say about a darker side, I don't mean evil, and I don't mean um, uh, harmful things that I want to do to people. It's um, the, the depression, the anger, the frustrations, the regrets, the loss, all these things which don't empower me. And if I become aware of that darker side of me and I, and I own it and I do something with it, it can only empower me even more with on my spiritual journey. Now, obviously, I'm not telling you what to do or how to go this is something I've been doing over a period of time and as I've been going along going down certain paths in my life um, I've come across certain um, I say developers best way to put it people who are in the same um, understanding or learning to understand themselves and because they are going down that path it only embraces and helps me identify other sides of me that I'm not really in was or wasn't really in tune with because they may just say a certain line and then it triggers me you may get the same so when your spirit or your soul um, needs to be empowered Obviously, there is certain things you can do. You can have gratitude, you can meditate, you can go walk in nature, you can be um, in a forest by the sea, you can be with friends, family, children, dogs, animals, so on and so forth. Get and use, find your gift of power. Okay, that's the important thing. Find your gift of power. That's the element that empowers you. Sometimes you may just want to wander off to a forest on your own and just meditate. You may want to go into a large um, green area and walk on the grass. You may want to just go and have coffee with a friend. If this what empowers you, then do it. Don't let nobody, no matter who it is, say to you that that's wrong about your development about your spiritual journey and what empowers you yesterday i was working with a client and um and we were and when when as a i want to say i'm a teacher i'm an enabler so when i helped enable her links with her guide and when she came into contact with him, that was my job done. I always am a spiritual engineer. So as a spiritual engineer, it's my job to get hired from the, by the creator to come along and go, hmm, okay, let's have a look now. Hmm. Um, two cups of tea, please, um, dear. I'm really joking. Um, <laughs> it's... It's my job to turn around and go, okay, let me use whatever energy or whatever spirit, or spirit, whatever, yeah, spirit in some ways, um, to help guide me to use whatever art form or craft to find out what your issue is. It could be spirit, it could be chakra cleansing, it could be Reiki, it could be healing, it could be 
tarot, it could be numerology, it could be different things. But the more I am open to suggestion, and the more I trust, goes back to you again, the more you trust in what you believe, the stronger you become. You can't dig a hole, a big hole, I mean a deep hole, just by digging it once. You need to keep digging that hole, right? The more you dig, the more dirt comes out, the more you dig, the more that stuff comes out. Along the way of your journey of digging, you're gonna probably come across artifacts or little bits and pieces, little surprises that were buried in the ground your consciousness, your spirit. If you put them both together, you're digging this end, and as you're digging the earth, this is you digging, your consciousness is the earth, and as you dig, you come aware, you come and you find these different um, hidden gifts. Now these hidden gifts may not mean anything to you right at this moment in time, but one day, whatever, whatever, whenever it is meaning to become out to show itself, it will show itself. So understanding your journey is a big part of your transformation of your soul power. If you don't understand your journey you won't understand your journey if you don't understand if you don't understand your journey you won't understand your power or your soul power when you unlock those keys about transformation and the transformation of soul power that's when you start to develop your spiritual self and your consciousness and unconsciousness understanding truth and understanding your own ability to transgress is a deep and understanding energy. Without it, we, we would all be lost. We all know we come from different dimensions and different um, facets of creation. But in, in reality, we are all one. We all are part of the creative energy, you know? We all are part of the same ball. The more we understand this, and we understand the development of consciousness, and our soul journey, and our soul power, the easier life will become, and more bliss will come into your life. We live in negative bliss because we dwell in negative bliss. Without realizing and understanding what negative bliss is and what, why we are there, you cannot climb out of that field. I'm out of the, that situation, what I'm saying about the field. When you're in this hole of negativity, you need to find the most less, the less slippier part of that hole, right? And that's for you to understand your true self. Don't be led by the dogmatic um, fakisms that you feel because you belong to something, that that's always gonna be the right way for you to go. You may hear it from elsewhere. Let, let it guide you, because it will bring you back to your true self and faith. So, well, that's all for now. Um, I have to say, for myself and a collective, we just want to say, stay blessed, stay safe, and um, love and light from the eternal flame, and we we'll see you on the next video. Take care. Bye. Namaste.